Another topic related to death is that of eternity. What does eternity mean? It means forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. In Fatima, the three little children in July 13th were given a vision of hell, which they were able to see, a graphic vision of hell. Afterward, on one occasion, Lucia was talking to her little cousin Jacinta. And Jacinta was thinking, reflecting upon the souls in hell. And she asked Lucia, Well, Lucia, after a hundred years, uh, hell will be over. Lucia said, No. How about a longer period of time? Hell will come to an end. No. And Jacinta was trying to pile uh, blocks of time, one one atop of the other, and trying to talk with Lucia to see if, if if hell would come to an end. And Lucy, knowing her catechism well, told the little cousin that hell is eternal, heaven is eternal, it's eternity. Here's a good image. Try to imagine a bird flying over the ocean and taking a grain of sand and flying all the way to a faraway planet like Jupiter and taking that grain of sand and dropping it on Jupiter. Then the bird flies all the way back to planet Earth. He takes another grain of sand and with a grain of sand he flies all the way to Jupiter. And this bird is flying back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, with the intention of transferring all of the grains of sand on planet Earth to the planet of Jupiter. When that bird will have finished placing all the grains of sand on planet Earth to planet Jupiter, in that moment, Eternity is just beginning. My friends, we should meditate upon eternity. Later on, when Jacinta was about to die in the hospital of Lisbon, one of the things that she said to reveal to the whole world was that if the world would meditate upon eternity, they would be converted. If we recognize that our life is so short and the stakes are so high, either salvation or damnation. Either we go to heaven or we go to hell. The great Saint Augustine, a converted sinner who became a great saint, said our life in comparison with eternity is a blink of an eye. We are here today and gone tomorrow. And that's why the psalmist puts it this way. Our life is like the lily of the field that rises in the morning and withers and dies at night. So my friends, let us be wise. Let us be wise. Meditate upon death, judgment, heaven and hell and purgatory and meditate upon eternity. My friends, we're called to be with God forever and ever and ever. Let's take steps on our process of conversion to secure our eternal destiny, which is the loving embrace of our Heavenly Father. Amen.